is a general reading this may or may not resonate okay if it doesn't check out your other placements if you need a personal reading all that information is going to be below we have new love coming for the ace of cups here honestly that doesn't look like new love to me i feel this is a renewal in love someone's coming in towards you they want a brand new beginning in love this is new beginnings this is someone wanting to open up emotionally to you wanting to be vulnerable okay this is definitely someone you had an ending with okay something really ended badly between you guys they're coming in to revive the connection this is a connection that you thought it was over okay maybe it was but they're coming back with that love offer okay they're coming in and they want to start from scratch that's a love offer, guys. That's someone who's ready to open up to you, be vulnerable to you this time. I'm getting you are the one who walked away. You felt backstabbed and betrayed by this person. But they're coming back. They want to get this relationship back from the brink of, like, getting things back from the dead. I'm getting a resurrection, recovery from something that was... The wheel is turning in your favor, guys. There's something that's going to happen in your favor. Luck is on your side. The universe is going to get your back for sure, okay? Because we have a wish come true for you. This person could be your wish fulfillment. This is something that you always wanted, okay? And I think you almost lost all hope. You were disappointed and you were ready to walk away. You already did walk away. You felt like the victim here, but you definitely felt cheated by this person, okay? A lot of stress, anxiety around the situation. But I guess you're not expecting this new beginning with this person. But yeah, things are going to be in your favor sooner than you think it is. The will's going to be in your favor whether you want to hop on or not. Okay, it's going to start turning in your side. A lot of positive changes. Okay, I wouldn't say positive. The wheel of fortune is changes, right? Unexpected changes that are coming your way. You just got to be prepared for it, okay? Now, whether this is a positive change or not, it's in the upright. So yes, I wouldn't say positive change. I would say something that's going to where you're literally going to think that okay yeah now something's happening my way okay like literally the destiny is working in your favor okay so that's what's happening and whatever's coming in right it's going to make you very 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 happy because there is someone who's wanting to communicate with you okay this is brand new communication page of cups is of uh, page of wands is of cups this is telling me that someone again is ready to open up to you okay this person could have been someone very closed off someone who had issues opening up to you all right this person could have been uh, someone, you know, who you had once thought there was a lot of potential with this person, okay? But they were just not ready to um, put in the same effort probably, okay? And you could have given them a lot of chances, okay? Because we had the 10 here, which is like you could have gone like an entire, gone through like an entire cycle with this person. And that's when things ended when it was just either there were negative changes happening or you were just not being able to keep up with those unexpected shocks that were coming into your life okay like things were probably like you were jumping into one frying pan to another but yeah after you ended things it's not over it's coming in they're coming in they could be slow but they're coming in you're probably not seeing this coming but they are there is brand new communication coming in this person is going to think of having a different approach towards you this time okay the page of wands is a very light-hearted energy someone who likes to keep it very casual okay but yeah this is a lot of passion here. Someone who's very enthusiastic about you. Wanting to try something in a new perspective. Wanting to try something in a new way. But yeah, this is good news. Definitely good news. And whatever the good news is, it's going to be like, yay, my wish is fulfilled. Finally, the universe is giving it to me. But before they give it to you, right, you're going to, if you haven't ended things, there is going to be an ending here, okay? Something's going to end badly. But yeah. Whatever is going to happen is going to happen only after the ending. So if, um, if you think it's over, it's not. They're coming back for a second chance with you. And this time they're coming in correctly. They're opening up emotionally. They're going to tell you how they really feel. Well, see, like I said, right? You're starting a new cycle with this person. You've learned your lessons. They've learned their lessons is what I'm getting more. I'm getting more of like they've learned their lessons. You've learned your lessons. You're both ready to start a new cycle. I'm really getting like there's a karmic cycle that's over between you guys. There's this like cycle basically or a chapter which is over between you guys. It's got to be up to you Virgo whether you want to start this or not. Okay. Because you have the sun here. You have clarity coming in. This is such a beautiful card. 
I'm in awe. Like, I love this card. Look at the yellow, the pink, the blue. Look at her, she's looking so pretty. Wow, Virgo, I can literally picture you as like, like, like this. Like, you know what, Virgo, I feel? I feel this is all gonna come in for you. And it's gonna make you so happy. But at the same time, I'm feeling something that's going to set you free. The truth is gonna set you free. You know what happens sometimes, you know, I'm going a little off track, but sometimes we desperately wait for something to come into our lives or a person to come into our lives. Could be a job, a career, something that's, you know, like our literal wish fulfillment. We're so codependent on that person or on that wish fulfillment, right? That we stop living our lives. We reach a point where we completely give up on that because we stress ourselves out so much. We overkill ourselves thinking about it over and over again, overthinking, overanalyzing. And the moment we stop overanalyzing, overthinking, the moment we start to walk away, like, you know what, like, screw it. I don't give a shit whether that happens or not. It comes in, which is exactly happening here, okay? It's going to make you very happy. But I'm also getting with the sun here. There's something that's going to set you free. It's like, you know what, when it comes in, it's going to... You're not going to be in that state of anxiety. You're not going to be in that state of anxiety, you know. You're going to be like, yeah, okay, I, I, I always wanted this. I get it, but I don't know. I have a feeling you're probably going to be into minds, but let's see. Tell me more. What can Virgo expect in their love life for the week of November 2020, please? So many cards. Give me one, please. Your pentacles, see? This person wants to work with you. They're ready to build with you. They're ready to put in their effort. Uh, this is someone who's wanting to commit to you. Commitment, not as in like that commitment, commitment, but yeah, definitely someone who's ready to build with you, okay? This is the card of let's build, let's talk about this, okay? How can we work on this together? I'm ready to be with you. We're on the same page, etc. okay? This person could be someone who's definitely spying on you, stalking on you. You know, they have a lot of ideas. They have a lot of um communication that they want to do okay but they've been watching you from a distance they've been spying on you they've been watching you you know in the ten of swords out here right yes it is an ending okay but out here the card is shown so beautiful it's literally like those those birds right they're leading her away from any kind of misery you know and she's she looks okay with it i'm not saying happy but she looks okay with it it's like this person is literally watching you doing a lot of research are you okay without me I mean, if this person looks a little worried, are you okay without me? You know, they're more like, you know what? It's time for me to come and get the ball rolling before Virgo completely walks out. But they're definitely trying to get a lot of information about you. They're doing a lot of research, spying, stalking, watching you. They're going to communicate with you, okay? Because we already have the page of forms here. So it, it may take some time because they're in that research mode right now. Probably wanting with, like, uh, which is the best approach to make towards you. Now that things have ended so badly, right? They need to come in with a proper move towards you, right? Before you show them the door. Any more about Virgo? Nothing Virgo is fucking out. See? You're maintaining your cool. You're being cool, calm, collected. That's exactly what I was getting. Virgo, you've reached a point in your life right now. That's what I'm picking up, right? Like when, the, when this person comes in, I don't see you more like... Yay! Excitement kind of thing. Yes, it is the Nine of Cups, but Nine of Cups does not mean that, you know, it's a wish fulfillment. But I don't see you as like, like, oh my God, you're back. Maybe you are. But I'm getting for some of you, when this person comes in, you're going to be, you're going to have that very balanced energy. You're going to have that very moderate energy. You're going to be in that cool, calm, collected energy. Like, all right. It's literally like you've given something a lot of time and you have told yourself that, what is in my control, I'm ready to take responsibility for it, which is walking away because walking away is in your control, right? Walking away from something that is not making you happy or walking away from a betrayal or walking away from something that's causing you so much pain and hurt and hurting you badly. That's in your hands and you took responsibility for it and you walked away. This person coming back to you, the person who betrayed you or the person who you had an ending with, right? It's not in your hands to bring them back. They will come back if they're destined to come back, right? You're exercising self-control and you realize that what is not in your hands, you're ready to let it go. You're ready to let it flow. That's that's why the temple is here. That's what it's saying. You're wanting to stay away from any kind of drama and chaos that's coming into your life. Look at that. Emotional fulfillment, ten of cups. That's commitment. That's emotional bondage. That's emotional happiness. That's a happily ever after card. 
anyone got this? Anyone more got the world of this? Anyone more got the world of this? This is a reconciliation also with the temperance. This person has healed. They're ready to come in. They've healed. They're ready to come in. So, nine of wands. What did I say? You're on guard. Well, go. When this person comes in, you're, you, you have trust issues from this person, okay? I feel like there is someone here who's wanting to move forward with you, okay? They want success, okay? They're very confident, okay? They want to move forward with you. That's a lot of self-confidence. Wanting to take things to the next level. If you wanted some kind of public recognition, they're ready to give it to you. But they have their eyes on you. They have their eyes on you. Look at this. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. Tower. You could have given this person the silent treatment, you know, but I feel like you were trusting your instinct, you were trusting your gut, and you already knew what you were doing is the right thing. I'm not saying that you had an instinct that they were coming back, but I feel more like you were trusting your intuition. You knew you were doing the right thing by walking away. With the tower, the two of cups, and the six of wands, what do you want me to say? This is a huge epiphany, a huge realization on their part. Once you walked away, you're coming in to rebuild the foundation. Your relationship could have been on a very rocky foundation, okay? Or it could have been on, some, on not a very concrete foundation, very crooked foundation. And that's why there was this tower moment, okay? There was a shake-up, a breakup between you guys. A huge shake-up in the foundation. This shake-up was in order for you guys to come back together in the right way with the two of cups here. So this is mutual love. This is mutual energy, okay? This is someone who's like, yeah, I'm going towards my Virgo. I want them back. I'll give them everything that they ever need, okay? But the only problem here that I see is with the nine of wands here, right? You're the one who's going to be very defensive. It's like, look, we've tried it a lot of times, okay? How different is it? How do I know that it's not going to be any different from the way it lasted the last time, from the way it ended the last time? And that's what I'm getting with the nine of wands here. Look how guarded she is. She's like, yeah, I see you coming towards me, right? Are you going to hurt me? Is it going to be the same shit like last time? Is it going to be the same shit different day? Am I still going to be, am I still, am, am I going to be backstabbed and betrayed again? Should I put my trust in you? I, I mean, it doesn't look like you want to let your guards down. I mean, it's all coming in, but it doesn't look like you want to let your guards down. They're going to have to do a lot of work, which again, they're ready to do with the three of pentacles, with the, the wheel of fortune. I mean, the, the page of swords, a lot of research, okay? A lot of thinking, investigating, a lot of ideas, you know, like how do I approach you, okay? And I think with the temperance here, they've taken their time to heal, but it's you. I don't know how open you're going to be to this person. Did I say that in the starting that I don't know how easily you're going to take them back? But they're coming in. They're coming in, Virgo. Let's see. What is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome? Give me the likely outcome. For Virgo and the person they're dealing with, please. Give me the likely outcome for Virgo and the person they're dealing with. What is the likely outcome? What is the likely outcome? <laughs> yep, six of wands, two of wands. So it looks to me that yes, this person wants to move forward with you, right? Six of Wands here, yeah, we already spoke about that, right? This card just wanted to come out. It was at the bottom of the deck, it was at the back of the deck, but it wanted to make its way out. Which is telling me that there is someone here who's hell-bent on moving forward with you, okay? They wanna make shit happen with you. They're very confident about this, you know? They're ready to put in the work, etc. But you, my friend, like I said before, I don't think it's gonna be an easy decision for you. This is the Two of Wands here. Yeah. This is where you're going to hold back a decision. It's like, you know what? Yes, I got all I want, all what I want. Go back, rewind the video and see what I said. You have everything that you need, that you always wanted. But you're going to be in your head. You're going to have to make a decision. Do I still want this or not? It's literally, I literally feel like it's going to be a very detached decision, you know, that you have to make. I mean, you're half in, half out for sure. I don't see you as someone completely out of this. You are contemplating this. You're quite invested yet. But it's just that, you know what, maybe it's taken some time before this person came back and probably you're already okay on your own, you know. The Nine of Cups doesn't always have to mean a wish fulfillment. It is. But the Nine of Cups also means that there's someone here who's okay on their own, who's happy on their own, who doesn't have any kind of dependence on another person's coming or going. You know, a lot of smug energy, but I like that. I like that. It's good to be happy, right? Learn to be happy on your own because then when you're in a relationship, you're going to be happy. 
that's the foundation is what I say. If you're happy when you're single, you're going to happy be happy when you're in a relationship. If you're always going to be dependent on another person on a, in a relationship or dependent on someone else to make you happy, you're not going to be happy even if you are with the person that makes you happy or even if this person is your wish fulfillment, okay? A little off track, but just keep putting it out there. You're guarded because with the nine of wands and two of wands, right? You're, you're going to have to make a decision, bro, when this person comes back. They want to come towards you. They're moving forward for sure. They're coming your way. It's going to be your choice, Virgo, whether you want them or not, whether you want to let your guards down, whether you want to trust this person again, whatever. You're not wanting to be vulnerable right now because you're like, you know what? I've had it. I mean, this has been a long coming, right? I'm almost getting like, why now? More than anything, I'm like, I'm okay on my own, you know? I think you're going to question yourself. Is this really what I still want? Because you doubt this person's intentions, of course, because of the way things ended before. But all right, Virgo, it's going to be up to you, all right, guys? I hope this reading resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.